Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Akansha Parimu. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you. India's foreign minister holds bilateral meetings ahead of G20 meet. Students protest against education policy in Pakistan administered Kashmir. And thousand states strike in Sri Lanka against huge tax hikes. And now for all the details. India's Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar on Tuesday held a series of bilateral meetings with his counterparts from countries including Russia, Mexico and Turkey on the eve of the key G20 Foreign Ministers meeting in New Delhi. The year-long Russian war in Ukraine and its impact is likely to take centre stage during the crucial summit. India's Foreign Minister Dr. S.J. Shankar on Wednesday held bilateral meetings with his counterparts from countries including the United Kingdom, Russia and Mexico and discussed the agenda of the G20 Foreign Ministers' meet to be held on Thursday. The crucial meeting is being attended by 40 delegations, including by Russia's Sergei Lavrov, US Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Chinese Foreign Minister Chin Gang. Jay Shankar also met EU High Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, Josep Borrell Fontelles, and discussed issues of mutual interest including the Ukraine conflict. Josep later told reporters this war has to be condemned. India has, however, refused to blame Russia for the Ukraine invasion while seeking a diplomatic solution and sharply boosting its purchases of Russian oil. India's Foreign Secretary Vinay Mohan Quatra on Wednesday said the year-long war in Ukraine would be an important point of discussion, but questions relating to food, energy and fertilizer security, the impact that the conflict has on these economic challenges, would also receive due focus. Pakistan's former Prime Minister and opposition PTI chairman Imran Khan on Tuesday got respite from two courts in Islamabad which granted him protective bail till March 9. Escorted by hundreds of supporters chanting slogans in his favour, Khan made his way to judicial complex courts to appear in the cases that ranged from gathering illegal funds from his political party and terrorism in which he was given relief by the session court. Khan had earlier launched a campaign calling on his supporters to offer themselves up for arrest in a bid to fill up the jail cells in protest against the detention of his aides. The government denies cracking Khan and his party and has said that it is not interfering in various cases against him. Khan Saab appeared at around 1.30 before the anti-terrorism court and the court was gracious enough to grant him interim bail. And after that, he made his appearance before the Banking Crimes Court in an FIA matter. And after hearing the parties, the court was kind enough to confirm his bail. And the bail in that matter has been confirmed. Moving on, school students in the illegally occupied Pakistan-administered Kashmir held a protest march against the inconsistencies in their textbooks and syllabus. They complained it is a move to make them unable to compete with students in other regions of Pakistan. School students in Pakistan administered Kashmir took out a protest march recently against the inconsistencies and discrepancies in their syllabus and textbooks and lamented their fear for their future amid the administration's lack of concern. The protesting students blame the education board is trying to create a divide by having different syllabus for students in Pakistan-administered Kashmir and other parts of Pakistan, adding that this move will make them incapable of competing with other students in later stage. They also complained they were already sold the textbooks at heavy prices and despite repeated protests, their concerns are not being addressed. Yes, 
अपने अपना पैसा बनाने के लिए और स्टूडेंट्स का साथ खिलवाड़ किया गया सरासर अपने इनमें कारोबार चमकाया है करोड़ों अरबों रुपये सिलेबस से कमाए जो हमें सेट पंजाब बोर्ड का आठ सौ रुपये की किताब में पूरा सेट मिलता था यह सेट वहीं पर हमें तीन हज़ार बत्तीस सौ में सेट बेचा गया है इसका यही मतलब है इन्होंने अपना चूरन बेचा है मार्केट में ला के सरासर जितने भी स्टूडेंट इनके साथ नाइंसाफी की गई है ये सब स्टूडेंट आज अपना हक लेने के लिए यहाँ पर जमा हुए हैं और आज ये स्टूडेंट आखिरी दम तक यहाँ से नहीं ही लेंगे जहाँ पर जिसम सस्ता हो और हमारी किताब महंगी है जो पंजाब बोर्ड की पहली किताबें थी जो पंजाब बोर्ड की पहली किताबें थी हमारी नई किताबों की कीमत उनसे तीन गुना ज़्यादा है और इसमें ये गलतियों से भरपूर किताब है इसमें कोई सनत कोई तस्दीक नामा पहले सफ़े पर नहीं लगा हुआ कि यह किताब गलतियों से पाक है आप खुद फैसला कीजिए क्या इस किताब को पढ़कर हम क, हम कल को पंजाब के टेस्ट में अपियर हो सकते हैं क्या इसको क्या इसको हम पढ़ कर, कल पंजाब के बच्चों के साथ मुकाबला कर सकते हैं People in illegally occupied regions of Pakistan have repeatedly complained of discrimination by Islamabad and the local authorities. They complain Pakistan, which rules the region through a proxy, taxes them heavily but fails to grant them even fundamental rights. The Taliban-led foreign ministry said on Tuesday that 80 Afghan citizens, including children, had died in Sunday's shipwreck off the southern coast of Italy. The Afghan Foreign Affairs Ministry in a statement paid condolences to the families of the deceased and urged all citizens once again to avoid going to foreign countries through irregular migration. Reports suggest that there have been over 100 casualties but the official death toll by Italian authorities was at least 64 after the sailboat sank in heavy seas near the eastern coast of Calabria. 80 people had been rescued and more people were believed to be missing. IMF the International Monetary Fund on Tuesday reached a staff level agreement to release 52 million US dollars for Nepal. The fund released is part of 375 million package for the Himalayan nation statement from the global lender said. This comes at a time of a political turmoil in the country with incumbent prime minister Pushp Kamal Dehel set to take a vote of confidence in the parliament following a rift with his coalition partners. Nepal, a natural buffer between India and China, has seen 11 governments since it abolished its 239 year old monarchy in 2008. The political instability has scared investors and held back growth of its 40 billion dollars economy. Thousands of workers in Sri Lanka on Wednesday staged a one-day strike in the capital Colombo to protest against massive increases of taxes and electricity rates by the government. Most banks across the country were closed for the day and parts of a hospital were closed as other unions participated in the strike. Local media reported that protesters had declared a black week from February 22 where employees of public and private institutions reported for duty in black attire wore black armbands and black flags and banners were hoisted at the premises of several government buildings the island nation had raised electricity prices by 66% on february 16 in a move the government hopes will persuade the imf to provide a bailout for its crisis stricken economy it also introduced new income taxes in january for professionals ranging from 12.5% to more than 36%. We are not in a position that we can't pay tax. We we are in a position we want to pay tax but in a reasonable amount. This amount is not reasonable. That's why we are telling government should amend this tax policy. Otherwise we will go for another strike or another uh, major action. Maybe a continuous strike. India is culturally diverse and many festivals of different religions are celebrated in the country. Ahead of the Hindu festival of colors Holi, people in India's northern Mathura district celebrated Lat Mar Holi where women beat men with sticks as part of traditional festivities. Take a look. In a unique tradition, residents and tourists on Tuesday celebrated Lat Mar Holi. a stick beating holi in india's northern mathura district where women beat men with sticks as part of the traditional celebrations of festival of colors 
Women were seen using long sticks called lathis to beat the men folk who protected themselves with shields marking the reenactment of the age old tradition a fun filled time for everybody people in traditional costumes also took out a colorful procession in the land of the hindu god of protection lord krishna while sprinkling colors at each other bhagwan aaj yahan holi khelne ke liye aaye hain to holi khel kar ke chale gaye gaon to ye log jayenge kal bole ke aap holi khel ke aaye ho to holi ka phagwa do Celebrated at the onset of spring, Holi brings a mythological importance, that of the triumph of good over evil. Though Holi is a single day festival elsewhere in India, it is almost a 10 day affair in Mathura. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch the show on southasianewsline.com. You can also visit us on facebook.com/sasianewsline and follow us on Twitter at sasianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.